quick for a vet minute with Revival's Director of Veterinary Services, Dr. Marty Greer. Dr. Greer, the question is, what can I do to help a cat have kittens? Well, uh, the first thing we'll talk about is that queening is the process of having kittens, whelping is the process of having puppies. So to get the right terminology, we wanna be clear about that. Some cats are really pretty private about this and they may not necessarily want you to help too much, but it's likely you don't wanna have these kittens born in the laundry basket in your closet. So it's a good idea to have some preparation of some place that is appropriate for her to have the kittens. My breeder clients that raise cats do recommend that we use something like a pop-up crate, a zipper crate that you can move around the house so that it can be where it's convenient for her to have it. It's a nice quiet area so you can move it to a room where there's not too much commotion or activity. You don't need to have a bunch of little kids running in and out of the room during the process of queening. And the zip up crate gives you the access of you can reach in and out, but you can keep her confined so that she doesn't take off. Then they also recommend having a nesting box for her to queen in. So it would be a litter box that's been unused as a litter box or a storage box that's nice and large. So she has room in there to have the kittens and it is easy to clean up. It's plastic. It's clean. It's not sterile, but it's very clean. And then you can use the whelping pads that we sell at Breeders Edge for the surface that the kittens can be born on. It's got good absorbency, it's got good traction. So during labor, she's got some place to kind of move her feet into. The kittens don't come out and end up slip sliding around because they've got a nice absorbent surface that's warm on uh, the underside of where they're born. Of course, a heat source underneath them because we want to make sure that we keep the kittens warm during the birth process, especially when they're first born and they're kind of wet. It takes a little time for them to dry off. So I like to have a heated surface underneath part of the box, but not the entire box, so that if the um, kittens are too cold, they can move to a warm area. If it's too cool, they can move to a different area. Then some lubricant like KY Jelly or Priority Care with a tube, a feeding tube of sorts, that you can insert into the vagina of the cat if you need to put some lubricant in. Kittens, 40% of the time, are born with the back end first, with feet first. That's not a breech birth. 60% are born head first. And sometimes when they're coming back in first, the hair, because of the direction that it grows, if the kitten gets a little dry, it gets a little tough for the female to pass it. So lubricant can be very helpful. You can put it on a gloved finger. You can put it in with a tube. Of course, you want to wear gloves. You don't want to put your finger into the vagina or pull on a kitten without wearing gloves because you want to keep everything as clean as possible so there's less risk of her developing an infection. And then the Breeders Edge Calcium Gel that we use for puppies uh, and for bitches during labor can also be used on uh, the queens during their labors. And the dose for that would start at the time of labor, not to exceed one cc per dose, but can be repeated several times during labor. We know calcium improves the quality of uterine contractions, even if we don't use any oxytocin. Sometimes a wee bit of oxytocin is a good idea, but it needs to be just a tiny little dose. So we like to stick to the calcium gel as much as possible, make sure that the queen is on an appropriate pregnancy diet so that she's got enough calcium, so a kitten diet would be appropriate during her pregnancy. So uh, many times these cats don't need a lot of help. If they're uh, purebred cats or they're struggling a bit to have their kittens, then you may want to intervene. But many cats do very well on their own as long as you've got a controlled setting where it's quiet and safe for her to have her kittens. Hi, if you're watching on YouTube, consider subscribing to the Revival Animal Health YouTube channel. If you have a pet health question, call our pet care pros at this number. And don't miss our other pet health videos.